What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trev 2323. Today we're talking fountain pumps. This is our fountain that we have. We had this for many, many, many years. One of my co-worker friends actually gave it to me a long time ago and it was all green. And then our friend Liz Mama Rosado from Hammond, Indiana. Uh, Liz Rosado, she actually painted this for, for me. She paints uh, statues and everything for people's gardens. And she goes by Bring Your Gardens to Life. Look how amazing that is. But right now, my garden is not at life because my pond pump went out, my fountain pump. And the difference with fountain pumps is when you have them, as you see, I, I put water in here every day. And the, all those rocks are in there because when it sucks water in, it believe it or not, it filters the water when you have it running. And it's better for the birds and it oxygenates the water, the squirrels, there's wasps and everything. But every, when it's 100 degrees, everybody tries to drink water. So me and my wife try to maintain this, but the fountain pump went out. So you wonder what kind of pump you need for a fountain. Well, this fountain pump right here, if I lift this off, see you got a really big pump down there, but I put a bigger one on because it's just that I had it here at the household. So uh, it was too big, it wouldn't fit. So I just left it running to dribble the water out of here to keep this water clear. See how clear that is? To keep it clear, I just left th that one running to dribble out of here since it wouldn't fit. So I picked up a Tetra fountain pump, a 75 gallon per hour and it's adjustable. See that little yellow thing? You adjust it right there. So let me go ahead and power small and tabletop fountains. So. 75 gallons per hour should be able to if you put it too big it'll shoot out of here over the fountain and not right here so that's why you need one that you can control let me get this open here you go right here one foot lift you need 82 gallons per hour two foot lift 54 gallons per hour oh that's what this one does for you if you got a one foot lift it gives you 82 gallons per hour and a two foot lift will give you 54 gallons per hour that's probably about a foot and a half lift that we got right over there. All right, when you get your pumps, they give you different fittings to hook onto your pump. And this is always cool because you don't know what your inner or outer diameter of your hose is. But I know ours is pretty big. So all they do is they sink right in there and you push them in there. And that's your inner diameter hose that you got here. This is the flow. It got the most and the least. The most and the least. So we're going to put it right in the middle to start with. Now this on the bottom this gets does get plugged up somewhere you do have to take this out of the water a little bit every now and then to clean that out and wash that out so i put this halfway down and i put the biggest inlet in and let me go get this on so you can see how it flows this was actually the same outlet i had as the other one i put this down because of the bigger pump i tried to slow down the output since i had no control on the other pump the big pump that i had so I'm just going to stick this on there really good, which it fits really good, and then I'm going to put it in. Houston, we have a problem. That one's flowing really good, but I'd rather have this one half and this one, so I got to mess around with the hose. That's a whole other thing that I'm going to mess with around here. Also, where the water goes in, I cover it with rocks and everything. I cover it for two reasons. One, it acts like a natural filter for the bird bath. But for two, you don't get all this sucked up into the bird bath. But I do that for two, you know, for, for those reasons right there. So now I have to go ahead and uh, mess with the bottom of it because one of the holes kinks and that's why that one's not coming out. See, the hose is kinked. I'm pulling that one. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. It's just when you put it down, this one gets pinched a little bit. Liz Rosado from Hammond, Indiana painted that. Really regarding his life. It looks amazing. And like I said, I put the rocks in there. I built that up for two reasons. One, so it doesn't suck in all the crap that falls around. And for two, it does help filter out the water for the birds. And they love that the natural running water brings aeration. So they know it's not as bad for the animals to drink as if you have stagnant water. Talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share.